Nassim, I'm so excited to have you here on the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here too. I'm excited about your new film, Cold. Short film, 25 minutes. Tell me what inspired you to create this film. You know, it's it's been the kind of narrative that I've always liked, even as a viewer. All these lives in the world that just coexist. Especially because if you look at it from a certain perspective, you know, for you, you are the center of your universe, of your story. Mm -hmm. For me, the universe kind of you know, might be sort of revolving around me. And there's seven billion of us, and that's a lot of stories to be happening concurrently, coexisting at the same time. Uh, so that's fascinating. And other than that, I mean, living in Toronto, this city is never short of stories to share. Mm -hmm. So, did your personal experiences factor into a story like this? Partly, it is inspired from from being an immigrant in the city, yeah. and I think that that's one of the struggles that we 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 see in the film as well with Ellie, the cab driver. Uh, but then, you know. The personal experiences that I've had in the city, uh, working with such a diversity of people when it comes to the spectrum of, of, of sexualities and sexual identities. So we've got the character of someone who identifies as a trans, uh, a tra trans yes. female. I think part of that is the fact that when it comes to someone who's at that age and realizing who they really want to be, uh, it is it is heart wrenching to watch that. Um, you get people, you know, who have more. Um, uh, more, more generic. I don't want to sort of you know, lighten their issues, but uh, you know, issues that we can all identify with. Uh, more universal issues like breakup issues and whatnot. Um, you've got the, the the sex worker, and again, sort of it goes back to my um, my history as a sexual health worker for for a while as well. So such a vast amount of experiences that I've had personally, people who've touched me, people who have had the good fortune of interacting with, you see glimpses of them um, in the script. So what was the challenge about, you know, portraying these stories? And in one film that is 25 minutes long. <laughs> the challenge was shooting it is in minus 13 degrees because um, <laughs> one of the things which we were slightly naive about was that you don't have to shoot a winter film in winter. Uh, but we did. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it was painful. Uh, but I think in a lot of ways it shaped the film. Um, in a very authentic way. Yes. Uh, we uh, went, in, the kind of misery that, that we really experienced with the weather uh, would often kind of feed into uh, the, the realities of the film. That yes, figuratively, the people are cold and people are feeling lonely and isolated and whatnot. But at the same time, I mean, um, you know, it's it's a bitingly cold night in, in in the story as well, which it was for most of the time when we were filming it. What's the message you want viewers to take away from this film? Smile more. I think, uh, I, I, smile more, yeah. yeah. And, and don't be so afraid. I mean, what's the worst if someone doesn't smile back? Mm -hmm. uh, learn to forgive people more for that. I think that uh, when we realize that we're all just collectively cautious, afraid, we tend to sort of not be so afraid of someone not smiling back and just generously giving to them. Uh, and I think if, if, we, if someone can take that message away, uh, that's a great message for me. Mm -hmm.